What is going on guys, Greggles TV. I've gone through the arduous task of figuring out which is the very best audio book app. Is it Audible, which is owned by Amazon? Is it audiobooks.com, which is, I don't know who owns it, I guess they own themselves. Or is it Google Play Books? I'm gonna tell you which one. They both, they have their, their pluses and minuses. Um, so let's just get into them one at a time. Let's go into um, Audible first. So Audible, with Audible, I would say out of the three here, out of audio versus audiobooks and Google Playbooks, they seem to have the best selection of audiobooks. So if selection is everything to you, um, go with Audible because you will not be disappointed. I, every book that I wanted was in Audible. Didn't matter if it was a, uh, a rare book in terms of like some random wrestling book or it was um, uh, this author I've been listening to called Karen White. They had like all of her books. Um, they literally have everything that I was looking for, more so than the other two. So again, if selection is big for you, Audible is the way to go, which is cool. Um, other than that, if you sign up, um, you do get, and you're new, you will get two free audiobooks. After that, it costs $14.95 per month, unless you cancel it. You will be able to uh, keep your books uh, regardless, and that's the same with any of these. So any books that you get for free um, through a trial or you just bought them and then you canceled your subscription, you still get to keep the books. Also, Audible has more than, at least what I found, different uh, uh, membership plans. So if you wanna pay for like a whole year in advance or a whole two years, you can save money that way, which is really, really cool. So if you, do, if you, if you know you're gonna do this for years or uh, two years, um, you can basically get like two months free or more if you pay for a year or two ahead of time. Other than that, it just comes with one book per month if you do their subscription. But again, you don't need a, pres a, a subscription. Um, you could buy these books just outright. Like I don't have a, a subscription. Um, I just bought some credits on e eBay actually, which had a really good deal. But you can see if you don't have, you can see it's 15 bucks with membership. So you need a membership in order to get that. But regardless, the app is very easy to use. Every single book that I looked at has a sample. So you can find the book you want either, either by browsing for it or searching for it, maybe you want a, a WWE book, I like wrestling, so I'll just search uh, wrestling books, it brings up maybe the DDP one, I click on it, and I can just hit sample. If you knew that your success was guaranteed, what would you do? And it keeps starts playing, it plays a, a small amount of it, and it plays some random chapter, which is kind of weird, and I'll show you how the other uh, apps work with, with the samples, but, I kind of don't like the way they do it. So two things I don't like about the samples with Audible is one, it just plays some random part of the book for about four or five minutes, maybe longer. Um, and then the other thing is you can't control it by fast forwarding it or um, going back. You can only play and pause it. Other than that, you still have a lot of control in here and a lot of browsing opportunities. You can go through your home. You can look at your library of books that you have. Um, and again, they have a huge library of books. It's really ridiculous. They have channels for Prime. So if you're a Prime member, um, you can get some free stuff in here. They, it's almost like, pod, think of it like podcasts. So it gives you some extra content for free if you have Amazon Prime. Um, you can look at your uh, news that they have coming out in terms of uh, stuff on Twitter they've posted or listen on Kindle. I will, you'll probably never go in there. Um, you can look at stats of your listening. You can look at recommended books that they have for you and you know listen to samples or buy them do whatever you want um, this is the store and it's all expanded out you can browse you can look at your wish list so it's really easy if you want to look at say i wanted this book and i'm like you know i don't want to buy it just yet you can go towards the bottom here and add it to your wish list just so you remember and then when you go into here you can look at your wish list and be like all right which books did i want again now that i have a credit and you're like, oh, there it is. I want you to just click that book and you can buy it or do whatever you want with it. Uh, you have categories you can look through. Tons of categories. I wish they had a free books category. They don't from what I saw here, but there are free books and I'll, and I'll, uh, I'll show you how to do that. Basically just go to search and I just typed in um, free and it should just pop up free audiobooks. And it brought up a, a bunch of free audiobooks. Again, I wish they had a category for it. Maybe they do, and I'm just not seeing it. But it looks like there's a ton of free. It says 2,700 
books that are free. So these are literally free and you can do the same thing. Even with a free book, you can tap on it and you can play a sample back if you want, or you can um, just buy it. And again, it's not going to cost you any money. You don't need a, a subscription in order to do that. Um, the other thing I didn't mention is the reviews are everything. Um, since Audible has the largest store, Audible is definitely also the most popular of these apps and has tons of reviews on every single book. Audible, just without a doubt, Audible is the best um, of these apps, um, just based off selection, like I keep saying. Bestsellers, and I like the way they do their bestsellers. It's kind of cool. So their bestsellers, they show what's most popular on Audible, and they'll show the top 98 books, and you see the how much they cost. You see the rating. You see the name, and you see a little um, uh, thing of uh, who wrote it and who narrates it, how long it is, the release date, all that stuff. They also have New York Times bestseller list, which I really like seeing because this gives you another list of books that it's only the top 15, but it still gives you a, a list of books that maybe that you want to see. And you can see look at that 68,000 ratings. You don't get that on, nowhere near that uh, amount of ratings on audiobooks.com or on uh, Google Playbooks. New releases, you can also do pre-orders on here. It's cool. It just This is the be-all, end-all of audiobooks, and it should be. you got Gift Center if you want to gift a book, your account. Um, settings. Settings is basically like this on all of them, but within Settings, um, you can go into Download Settings, and you can do Download Format, and you can listen to these in either. It's set to standard quality. I would set it to high quality because you want your book to sound good. It's a, Make it sound the best it can. Playback settings, if you want to change it, like when you jump back and forth. Because um, when you're playing a book, you can go back 30 seconds or you can make that shorter or longer. Same thing with going ahead, pause, play, go to the next book. Um, you can look at chapters on here. It's just, it's easily, this is, I mean, you don't even have to watch this anymore if you just want the best of the best. Audible, without a doubt, is the best. But again, the others have their pluses and minuses too. Um, sleep timer, which is cool if you just want this to play for a certain amount of time and then just automatically stop. You can do that with here. You can even set a custom time. Uh, you can set bookmarks. And that is the Audible app. It's amazing, guys. It truly is. Um, I just don't like the uh, subscription part where I wish you could just buy books for $14.95, but you can if you buy credits. Um, I'll link the way I got mine. Mine were really cheap. They were like, ended up being like $7 a credit, which is a lot less than having to buy the book. And again, I got them on eBay from some <laughs> random dude, but that was Audible. Next, let's look at audiobooks.com. Audiobooks.com has a really nice thing going on. So basically, you get two free books for signing up if you're new. I eventually also got an email, and the email said... Um, Review our app and then, you know, send us the name that it shows on um, the review on uh, the a Apple App Store or the Google Play Store and the email address you have for your account and we'll send you another free book. So I ended up getting three free books with audiobooks. So if you just want free books and you don't want to mess around with much, go audiobooks.com. But they have the same thing in terms of the way they run their plans. $14.95 a month and uh, you get one book a month with that. If you want to buy more books and you have a, a, a subscription, um, that book could be $14.95 or cheaper, but most of the books are $14.95. Their selection of books is nowhere near, again, what Audible has. Audible has literally everything. It's ridiculous. It's so crazy. Um, but they have a selection. You can see the Audible didn't have a, a, a browsing feature for free books. They do, which is certainly very nice. And then they break it down, the free books, into different categories, which, again, awesome to see. I love that. And you click on it, and the, and the app's not too bad. It's easy to navigate for sure. Um, so you want this book, you click on it, and you can follow the author, which is nice. Um, you can play a little sample. The thing I like about playing their samples is you can actually Purpose and chapter one, part one. You can actually control. Maybe like you know, I, I want to go up here. Well, this is a free book, so it's let me go all the way. But most of the samples are about five minutes, and it'll still let you go where you want, or go back, or go forward on it. This is the only app that lets you control the sample going ahead or going back. I love that. 
Um, the other part, uh, this is obviously just the player here. You can go back 30, I'll go ahead 30. Um, you can play it faster if you want. You can play all the books faster if you want. So I just didn't show it in Audible, but you can definitely play these faster. Um, make the person talk. This is a sleep timer, just like you did in the other one on, on Audible. There's just not a custom one. Custom, you could basically make as long as you want. This one is either 15 minutes or 90, or 90 minutes. Um, this is going to bring you, if you want to give the book a review, I don't know why you'd want to do that in terms of if that's a big deal to you or not. Um, and then, yeah, so let me go back actually. And that's that for that. Uh, you can also search if you want. So you go up here and search, uh, maybe you want, I don't know, Tom Sawyer. Do I even have Tom Sawyer? Yeah, Tom Sawyer. Maybe you want a Tom Sawyer book, search for it. It brings up. Um, any and all Tom Sawyer books, you can see the ratings, but they, again, their ratings are like, you'll see like two ratings or five ratings, but otherwise it, it still gives you a lot of information about the book when you go in there, when it's released, um, how long the book is. You can play it, like I said, to get a little sample. You can download it. You can add it to your wish list. Um, I'll add this one to my wish list, even though I don't want it. And it gives you the ratings. You can rate it. So that's searching for books. And then other than that, when you go hit the menu at the top, you have your featured books, which is going to be what they think is, uh, you know, what they think's the, the best books or whatever that you should be reading. You have browse, whoops, you have browse. And within browse, you have, uh, it'll show you like similar titles or just books that, you know, just browsing. That's literally all it is. And you can browse by free books like I showed or, uh, any of these categories if you want, which is nice. My books is going to be books that you own. So if there's a book in here and you can, you, you can hit the X and it'll get rid of it, but you can go into the book and play it or say you played it. And also at the bottom here, it's going to show you the purchased or your wish list. So if there's books that you wanted on your wish list, I'm actually looking at the wish list. Um, these are the apps that are on my wish list that it's saying, Hey Greg, remember that you want these, you can click on them and then buy them or do whatever you want. These are all my purchased books. Uh, my notes, you can add notes to books if you want. You can do that with the Audible app too. Member deals, so if you're a member, they have certain, certain deals like two for one beach listens. That way you can pick two books. So this is it, this is nice seeing you know certain, if you don't wanna pay full price for a book, but there's you wanted to get a new book, you can come in here and do that. Uh, VIP rewards. I believe this is still, you have to be a member for this, but again, it's just, just more deals on books. I believe these are free books, if I remember correctly. So if I did that, like select. Uh, profile, logout, settings, really basic stuff. A customer service is kind of cool because you can actually talk to them via chat or call them up. Lastly, we have Playbooks, which is Google's version. They don't have a subscription plan. You just buy the book. So all their books are $14.95 or less which is awesome. Um, their app is broken into the ebook side and the audiobook side. So we're just talking about the audiobooks, but basically it's, it's fairly easy. At the bottom here, you'll have home, uh, shop, and library. So we'll go into library first. These are all the books that you own. And these are my shelves. If I, they show ebooks as well, but these are all the audiobooks that I have. Um, when you click on the book, you can play it. And it remembers um, you playing it. Um, this is the only audiobook app that I saw anyway that will play on, uh, a, uh, will cast. So if you want to cast this to one of your Google Home speakers or something like that, you can do that with this, which is cool if you don't want to just listen to it on here. I wasn't, unless you can, I didn't, I, I didn't see a way to just tell my Google uh, home to end up playing a book for me. I tried it and it just wouldn't do it. Maybe I wasn't doing it right, but it just didn't do it for me. And all these ones are the, basically the same. When you play these things, you can, have a, there's a, a speed timer. There's, you can go back for 30, head 30, blah, 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 blah. They're basically all the same in terms of playback. Um, th again, this one has, I would say this library is probably better than audiobooks.com slightly, but not much better in terms of selection, what you can get. The only cool thing is, so you don't, since you don't, this one, you won't get any free books, unfortunately, but you'll see promos for like, um, uh, get $10 off your first free book. Like I already bought a book once and it's telling me I can get $5 off for my first book, even though I've already bought one. 
Um, so you'll see like little promos in here so I can get this book for $9.95 for instance. So if I click on it, it's gonna say, oh, do you wanna buy it for $9.95? You'll see like coupons from Google once in a while in here, but you're not, other than that, you're not gonna get any free books um, that are paid books. Um, they still should have free audiobooks, I believe. I don't see why they wouldn't. I believe they do. Yeah, so they have free audiobooks right here, as you can see. Um, which, again, they all have free audiobooks. Uh, it's just, this basically, Google's just, like, it's, I don't know, it, it doesn't feel like a real audiobook app. It seems like it's just thrown into Google Play, and that's kind of just what it is, which is nice. But the, the pluses for um, this one is that uh, you don't have a subscription. You can buy any book you want for either free or for $14.95. Um, they still have uh, a good selection of books. And you don't have to necessarily download a separate app like you do with Audible, because Audible, you have to download. It's probably not on your phone. And you have to download audiobooks.com. This app's probably already on your phone, so you don't really have to do anything, which is nice. I guess that's good for an older person, and it's good for someone that doesn't want a subscription to go with it. So, to break it down, I know it's kind of long-winded. Maybe you got a little bored, but hopefully not. Audible is, without, the, without a doubt, the best for selection. Um, it has all the same play features as the other ones. You can download these books or stream them if you want. Uh, it's just the best. If you want the best, go with Audible. If you don't want a subscription, you just want to buy, buy books when you want them and have a fairly good selection, go with Google Playbooks. Uh, if you want the most free books, right off the bat, go with audiobooks.com. So again, they all have their pluses and minuses. I think the Audible app is the best. And then I would go with uh, audiobooks app and then I'd go with Google Playbooks app just based off the app itself but uh, yeah they're all pretty cool but uh, I would still go with audible as the best thanks for watching guys let me know in the comments down below if you listen to audiobooks and which app or, or, or service you use and uh, put some of your favorite audiobooks down below that you've listened to so we can get some uh, tips that way as well thanks for watching guys I will see you down the road peace